Kia orana. welcome viewers to November's 2015 Earth Prediction series using the Psy cards. Now if I will put a link underneath this video to take you to another video that tells you a little bit more about how the Psy card philosophy works and its intrinsic link to collective consciousness which if any of you understand the paradigms of that it's pretty well much how the whole of existence works. We are all connected one way or another. So this is not voodooism or fortune telling or any other weird thing. It is purely an intelligent scientific device that anyone can uplift and use. So guys, let's get into it and see what turns up for the energies for the planet for November 2015. The first card is the stranger. The second card is the moon. Wow, it's turned itself. <laughs> I've picked it up and turned it upside down, so we will take it as that for the libido. The fourth card is the voyage. And the fifth card is the cave. We seem to be in fairly tumultuous times still, especially astrologically. The patterns of planetary lineups and movements are still quite strong and um, powerful, one could say. There are many, in astrological terms, crosses and squares and different patterns and energies to do with the smaller planets as well as the larger planets that traverse the outer edges of our solar system. So I think a lot of the energy is coming from planetary movement and a lot of that is um, affecting the way we live and how we react and how we want things to move forward as humanity as well. And given that Earth is one of the main planets and she's affected also by all of the activity around her, you can expect that um, consequently we see Earth related issues that seemingly are out of our hands take events as well. And if you are interested, you can find out this information is very notable and visible on some of the other bigger planets so it's not just earth that's undergoing quite extreme changes and probably it's people who live on earth it is most of the known planets in the solar system are currently undergoing extreme changes as well and consequently that is why we talk about things such as climate change and why we are seeing so much strange activity with our weather patterns in particular, increased volcanism and increased earthquakes. This is a period of change people and it is only going to be able to be worked through if we are awake and we are ready to accept change at all dimensions. If we're locked and loaded into old parallels and old thought systems, we're a little bit doomed. Let's start the reading with the cards that are here. If we see the stranger card, I often think of the communist countries when this card comes out and things behind closed doors. So perhaps negotiations or talks, things that are going on beneath or hidden from us that we haven't got full disclosure for or full information. Usually it's not the best of information and it's being kept from us one way or another. Um, so yeah, possibly big political parties that are involved in the communist end, keep your eye out for information or things that they might be doing unusual in the month of November. Often think of North Korea too when this card is around. Um, and just political talks or yeah, someone hiding information that possibly will be bought out because the door is partially open and they're still in hiding but perhaps they get caught. The moon card, well, pretty obvious what we're going to think of here, the moon. One way or another, are we, um, do we have some sort of moon alignment coming up? I know we have had the biggest supermoons in September and October, and we've been through the eclipses, so it's possibly not that. Maybe we find some information out about our moon that is brand new, some sort of technology or space-related information. It can also just infer planets of um, any type or space related information. So there might be something in the planets this month in November that we are either watching closely or we get new information around our space technology or space travel or um, 
something traversing between us and the moon. I know on the 31st of October we have a brand new asteroid that has been recently found that is coming on a rather erratic path traveling between us and the moon. Maybe it's something like that. We see the sea and we see this sea creature, this crab, so we think of animals in the sea especially. Is there something that we need to be listening to around this particular subject matter? Also, is there something going on with the sea yet again for November? Because we have this card over here which doubles up the message. The libido reversed, when it is... Um, facing the, the straight way up, I think of um, mass compassion events and often they are not the best of mass compassion events so there's something really traumatic that happens that brings the to the attention of the world where everyone just goes oh my gosh that's so terrible how did that happen often these are really bad mass shootings um, something along those lines either mass suicides or mass deaths or bombings something that really affects us all at a very deep compassionate level also major storms with the um, libido card like really quick rapid flooding inland flooding mudslides massive amounts of water that create just huge fast flooding now because it's reversed does it mean that's worse than normal or does it slightly um, reduce its potentiality? We're going to have to watch that. Keep the comments coming during the month. Keep us informed of what your opinions and ideas are as well. Remember that the system is a working system. It's growing its knowledge base over a period of time and all thoughts and conjecture are welcome um, as to what the ideas might be and what the outcomes of the cards. The only thing that I won't tolerate on the channel is bullying of any sort or negating of any sort. So, you know, welcome any comments that are constructive and um, insightful especially. The next card, The Voyage, was here in October, so it's got a double message out. We saw plenty of really unusual boating accidents or, or ship-related accidents in October, so perhaps they're going to continue into November. We also see this here is the sun. I talk about the sun giving off um, extra solar flares or CMEs or coronal mass ejections or big coronal holes which can have impact here on earth in the way of um, altering our magnetics that come down to us and changing the dynamics of how proton particles bombard us. So that could be another effect for November. I also talk about quakes either up through this Asia type area, Middle East area, and in fact as I'm recording this today, there was a really large quake up in Afghanistan. This card definitely gives that feeling of quakes and things up in that region as well. We come over here to the cave, and I don't like it when the cave and the libido turn up together. They often insinuate... Um, hunkering down so people really sheltering from big storms and the last time I think these turned up together was the sandy the sandy hook storm in the east coast of America so there is propensity this month for really big storms somewhere around the globe and this feeling of needing to hunker down also we see this as underground activity underground tunnels or um, volcanic activity that we've yet to see there could be an increase in volcanic activity again we think of uh, hidden agendas because it's all hidden underground stuff we can't see so there's your reading for November guys it's an interesting one interesting again because we have a reversed card and um, it's a pretty big message card the other thing I could say about the libido is it can also um, give off the feeling of mass great fun events like big parades and big global fanfare or you know when something like the Pope goes out traveling and there's these amazing millions of people turn out to watch it and there's happiness and compassion at that level it can also indicate that feeling this particular card so thanks for watching everyone thanks for showing your interest in this and for putting forth your ideas and just in general for joining me for the readings. So I bid you all farewell for this month, 
Take care everyone. Have a wonderful November. Ka kitia noa. Much aroha. Namaste.